Avast, mateys, and welcome to Shujin Academy VGM Club. I be Professor Tom, your captain for this journey. That shanty there was The Sea of Thieves, the main theme from the piracy simulator Sea of Thieves. It was composed by Robin Beanland. And today's show is all about VGM explorations of piracy. Sailing on the high seas, stealing people's stuff, swabbing the poop deck, and getting scurvy. You know, pirate things. I actually had some trouble putting together a track list for this episode at first, because I was trying to focus exclusively on games that starred pirates as protagonists, but then I decided to zoom out a little and include anything pirate-themed in a video game, be it pirates as protagonists, pirates as antagonists, or even just a really good song for a stage on a pirate ship, and that gave me a whole bunch of material to work with. So, knowing all of that, let's take a cruise through the waters of video game piracy. I opened the show with a song from a very recent game, so now let's listen to something from a super retro video game. 1984's Pirate Ship Higemaru was the third game released by a very young Capcom, and it's all about a sailor trying to fend off an assault by a group of pirates by throwing barrels around. It's adorable and has a fantastic soundtrack. Like a lot of early arcade titles, the songs here are pretty short, so my plan is to stitch things together like you're playing a full game of it. We'll begin with Lesson Start, then hear Lesson Stage BGM, next Deck BGM, then High Point Deck BGM, Game Over, and finally, Name Entry. All the songs are from composers Ayako Mori and Tamiyo Kawamoto. Songs ahoy! Thank you. 
Skull and Crossbones is a side-scrolling arcade brawler from 1989 starring two pirates who have their treasure stolen by an evil wizard and then they embark on a quest for revenge. Along the way, they fight Spanish soldiers, other pirates, and the pirate's eternal rival, the ninjas. It's not the world's most well-remembered game, but it is an interesting take on the beat-em-up, a genre that's normally about gritty city crime avengers. Composers Hal Cannon, Don Deke Knight, Brad Fuller, and Byron Shepard do a good job of sounding swashbuckling. We'll hear Pirate Ship, followed by Spanish Castle Exterior. Avast! <laughs>
When I was originally brainstorming tracks for this episode, I had planned to play something from Marvel vs. Capcom 2 to cover Ruby Heart, that game's pirate character. The problem there is that the MVC2 soundtrack doesn't really have themes for individual characters, so I started thinking about other fighting game pirates and landed on B. Jenny, the femme fatale pirate captain from Garu, Mark of the Wolves, for the Neo Geo. She's the blonde bombshell, who went on to make appearances in some of SNK's later games, including an appearance as a DLC character for the recently released King of Fighters 15. B. Jenny's song from Mark of the Wolves is called Bad Girl? And the title ends in a question mark, which lets us know that she's not really evil, just greedy and mischievous. The composers for this game are Akihiro Uchida, Masato Horiyuchi, and Yasuhiro Naka. Arr, let's check it out. Let's talk about another Neo Geo title that prominently features pirates. The game is Top Hunter Roddy and Kathy, and it's all about a couple of space bounty hunters pursuing an infamous group of space pirates in the far future. The game is a beautifully animated side-scrolling brawler, and it also includes vehicles in a way that would influence the Metal Slug series later. Like a lot of sci-fi stuff, all the different planets you visit only have a single biosphere, so I'm going to play one of the songs from the forest planet called I Like the Forest. I'm also going to play the ominous final boss theme called Dodo Dragon. I have to pronounce it with the emphasis on the dragon because it's in all caps in the song title. As with Mark of the Wolves, Akihiro Uchida is credited as the first composer here, although this time he's assisted by Masahiko Hataya and Toshio Shimizu. Ahoy again, but this time in space! <laughs> Thank you. 
By the time Konami got around to developing Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Turtles in Time, they'd made a bunch of games for the franchise, so the developers decided it was time to get weird, or at least to take the weird in a different direction. Therefore, they threw the martial arts-trained reptilian youths into a time warp in a game that featured stages in various eras from the days of the dinosaurs to the Old West and even into the future. One of these stages is set on a pirate ship, so the theme of that stage fits right into the theme of this episode today. Let's check out Skull and Crossbones from the Super NES version of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Turtles in Time, composed by Kazuhiko Uehara and Harumi Ueko. Yo ho ho and a box of pizza! The climactic battle in Donkey Kong Country requires Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong to confront the evil crocodile King K. Rule, who sailed up in a pirate ship and stolen all of Donkey Kong's bananas. K. Rule isn't an explicitly pirate-themed character, but he does have a pirate ship and he does steal from Donkey Kong, and also game composer David Wise turned in a soundtrack full of bangers for Donkey Kong Country, and that's good enough for me. Let's hear Gangplank Galleon, the game's final boss theme. Swab the poop deck!
It's not an episode of Shujin Academy VGM Club without a song from either Nobuo Oimatsu or Shoji Meguro, and for this one, Nobuo Oimatsu's coming ashore with Pirates Ahoy from Final Fantasy V. This is the theme song for Ferris, who appears early on in the game as a pirate antagonist who captures the party before it's revealed that she's actually the disguised sister of another party member, and they were separated as children, and much happiness ensues, and then Ferris joins up with the party and stays with you for the rest of the game. I like the jaunty pirate sound of this one, so let's check it out and try not to get scurvy. Now for a word from our sponsor. This very special podcast is brought to you by the Video Game Software Publishers Association, who reminds you that while piracy on the high seas is all fun and games, pirating software is an absolute atrocity. Making illegal copies of video games is a sin against both God and man, a foul abomination that will lead you down a path of illicit behavior from which there is no return. If you're pirating video games, turn back now. Your very soul is at stake. Now, back to the show. There are dozens of Robot Masters in the Mega Man series with various themes, including fire, ice, electricity, trash, archaeology, fire again, ice again, skulls, tomahawks, snakes, and most importantly for the purposes of this episode, pirates. Mega Man and Base was a series entry on the Super Famicom, and later the Game Boy Advance, that included a new cast of colorfully themed boss characters, including Pirate Man. Pirate Man has an aquatic stage, and he's got a claw for a hand, which is almost as pirate-ish as a hook. He also transforms into a cannonball, shoots mines, and most importantly for a pirate-themed villain, the fight against him happens in a huge room full of treasure. He's got a groovy, smooth theme song that's surprisingly chill, and it's from composers Toshihiko Horiyama, Naoshi Mizuta, and Akari Kaida. I'd rather hear it than get keelhauled, so let's check it out!
I just played Pirate Man's song, but if I really think about Mega Man franchise characters and pirates, the character that comes to mind is Tron Bon the Air Pirate from the Mega Man Legends series. She was popular enough that she got her own game, and she made the roster of playable characters for Marvel vs. Capcom 2 and Marvel vs. Capcom 3, along with appearing in the intercompany crossover games Namco Cross Capcom and Project Cross Zone. Her theme song is called The Flutter vs. The Gessel Shaft, and Shiver Me Timbers, It's a Good One. We'll hear the original version from Mega Man Legends, composed by Makoto Tomazawa. It seems like Sky Pirates are nearly as popular in video games as the traditional ocean-bound sort, so let's stick with that theme and talk about Skies of Arcadia. Known in Japan as Eternal Arcadia, this was a Sega RPG about Sky Pirates, originally released for the Dreamcast and later ported with some additions to the GameCube under the name Skies of Arcadia Legends. 
The heroes are a couple of sky pirates on airships who live and plunder in a world full of floating islands, and they fight an evil empire and save the day. I listened to the whole Skies of Arcadia soundtrack as part of the research for this episode, and most of it felt more soaring than swashbuckling, emphasizing the air in air pirates rather than the pirates. But there were a couple of songs that sounded really piratish to me. Blue Pirates theme, composed by Yukata Minobe, and Bombardment, composed by Tatsuyuki Maeda. Run a shot across the bow and listen to these.
I'll take any excuse to play a song from the Streets of Rage 2 soundtrack, and that game features a theme park level with a big fight set on a pirate ship, which is actually against some ninjas, but I think it's close enough. I'm going to play Ready Funk, which is the background music for that fight. Like most of the soundtrack, it was composed by the incomparable Yuzo Koshiro. I don't have any pirate slang for this one, so just sit back and enjoy it, matey. Puzzle Pirates is a cutesy MMO that's been running since 2003, where you play as a pirate who solves puzzles to accomplish various pirate-themed tasks, such as sailing, bilge pumping, dueling, and even drinking. It's got a fun theme song, too. I think the theme was composed by Batissi and Mike, although the credits for this one are really sketchy. Anyway, the song is a terrific sea shanty, so if you don't like it, you can go to Davy Jones's locker. the show. If you want to reach me, you can email me at shujinacademyvgmclub at gmail.com. 
find my channel on YouTube by searching for Shujin Academy VGM Club or use the link in the show notes. You can find me on Mastodon at Shujin Academy VGM Club at mastodon.coffee. I'm active on Tumblr at tumblr.com slash Shujin Academy VGM Club and on Instagram at Shujin Academy VGM Club. And I can be found on Discord as Professor Tom7512. Please leave me a five star rating on iTunes or Spotify or wherever you're finding this episode. Look for new episodes on Thursdays whenever I get them done, which is typically once or twice a month. Special thanks for this episode goes out to fellow VGM podcaster Jameson of Bar Silence Podcast for contributing cover art. You can and should find Bar Silence wherever you download podcasts, and check out his website at barsilence.com. Special thanks also goes out to APR of the VG Embassy Discord server for ripping tracks from Skull and Crossbones and also Pirate Ship Higamaru just for this episode. Special thanks also also goes out to Josh Grisham of Nerd Informants for helping us learn about the difference between good video game piracy and evil video game piracy. Find him on social media by looking for Nerd Informants on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. You can also catch his celebrity interview podcast, It's Hollywood Calling with Josh Grisham, at the link in the show notes. And finally, special thanks to my son Save Point Sam for suggesting that I do an episode on piracy. I've got one last song to play us out, and it's my favorite VGM piracy song ever. It's called A Pirate I Was Meant to Be from The Curse of Monkey Island. It was composed by Michael Land, with vocals from Dominic Armato, Alan Young, Michael Sorek, and Greg Berger. I couldn't do a pirate episode without including this, so I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for listening. I'm Professor Tom, and I'll see you next time on Shujin Academy VGM Club. We're a band of vicious pirates. We're sailing out to sea. When you hear a gentle singing, you'll be sure to turn and flee. Oh, this is just ridiculous. Come on, men. We've got to recover that map. That pirate will be done for when he falls into our trap. We're a club of tune for rovers. We can sing in every class. We can even hit the high notes. It's just too bad we're tuned down. A pirate I was meant to be. Trim the sails and roam the sea. Let's go defeat that evil pirate. We know he's sure to lose, cause we know just where to fire it. We're thieving balladeers. A gang of cutthroat mugs. To fight us off, you won't need guns. Just jolly good ear plugs. A pirate I was meant to be. Trim the sails and roam the sea. crew let's get to work our vocation's a thing we love a thing we'd never shirk we'll fight you in the harbor we'll battle you on land when you meet singing pirates there'll be more than you can stand oh that was a good one no it wasn't Song, we got to move. The battle will be long, but our courage we will prove. We're a pack of scurvy sea dogs. Have we pity not a dram? We only roasted garlic. Dancing from the diaphragm. A pirate I was meant to be. Trim the sails and roam the sea. Singing more sailing. When we defeat our wicked foe, his ship he will be bailing. If he tried to fight us, you will get a nasty whacking. If you disrespect our singing, we will bring you to a cracking. A pirate, pirate I was meant to be. Trim the sails and roam the sea. Getting so sick of you guys and your rhyming. 
We're ready to set sail, though the cannons need a priming. We're troublesome corsairs. And we've come to steal your treasures. We would shoot you on the downbeat. But we got to rest by measures. A pirate I was meant to be. Trim the sails and roam the sea. Polish and the deck is worth one mop. You say you're nasty pirate scheming, thieving, bad bushwhackers. From what I've seen, I tell you, you're not pirates, you're just slackers. A pirate I was meant to be. Trim the sails and roam the sea. We'll surely avoid scurvy if we all eat an orange. And, um... Well, uh... Door hinge? No, no. Guess the song's over then. Guess so. Okay. Back to work. Well, gee, I feel a little guilty now. <laughs> <laughs>